in the fall of 2011, American History TV visited Old Sturbridge Village, Massachusetts, a living history museum that depicts early New England life from 1790 to 1840. On American Artifacts, we hear from costumed historians who present what it was like to live and work in 19th century New England. Curator Thomas Kellerer serves as our guide. Old Sturbridge Village is not some little town caught in a time warp or anything. What it is is a cre recreation of kind of a, uh, a sampling of rural life in New England at the time when society was really transforming from the, um, the old order to the modern world we live in today. We're showing you the decade of the 1830s. So the American Revolution was a couple generations ago. It's as far away from them as, as World War II is to us. The Civil War is still a generation in the future. There's all sorts of rumblings about slavery, but they don't know what's going to happen in 20, 30 years any more than you or I do. So that's the time period to keep in mind. 1838, push comes to shove, that's our default year. There's 26 states in the Union, Michigan being the most recent. The population of the United States is probably around 17 million or so people. Of course, they do a census every 10 years, so we don't quite know yet, but it'll, it's probably about that. Um, it was 13 and a half million back in um, 1830. So it's, it's uh, a time when the railroad is coming in. Our county seat of Worcester is connected to our state capital of Boston by a steam railroad in 1835. They start making regular transatlantic steamship service from England to Boston by 1838. So it's not quite as old fashioned as some people might think, but um, the telegraph is patented in 1837. So just to give you some kind of things to hang your hat on. The industrial revolution is well underway. So a lot of the cloth that we're wearing is factory made still sewn by ladies at home, but uh, made in the textile mills of New England. There's over 700 of those. But most people are still living on farms, um, following agriculture in the land, growing things like corn over here, and living in fairly modest homes. The home behind me is on the smaller end. It's one of the few we actually built here. That's about 600 square feet, which represents about a quarter or so of the, um, of the housing stock of rural New England. So America was not only a younger nation, but a poorer nation than it is now. Most of our buildings, though, are antiques that we've moved here from the six New England states. We've opened to the public in 1946, been open ever since, as a private, not-for-profit educational corporation. So we're trying to show people bits and pieces of everyday life from the decade of the 1830s. You can watch American Artifacts every Sunday at 8 a.m., 7 p.m., and 10 p.m. Eastern Time on C-SPAN 3's American History TV. For schedule information and to view programs, visit cspan.org history.